Good morning, David Guype here, Arctic Metalworks Incorporated. We are the wine cellar refrigeration people. We're here at a house in Huntington Beach we did about a couple years ago. And the refrigeration system we have up here. And we have a condensing unit out on the side wall that we'll get outside and show you in just a few. But uh, this space was created before the walls and everything was put up. It was sprayed with polyurethane insulation for insulation and a vapor barrier. And then they took and re-drywalled it and created the plywood backing for all the line racking to screw onto. We did our mechanical umbilical cord to the outdoor location and we ran our refrigeration lines and drain and so forth to the outdoor area that we'll show you next. Here we have the condensing unit. This is the condensing side of a refrigeration system. Just to bring you up to speed on that, you have a condenser and an evaporator coil. Your evaporator coil is the indoor unit and it gets cold. The outdoor unit is your condenser and it gets rid of the heat that it's removing from your wine cellar. So it's blowing hot air up above here. It's Freon, it's in there, it's a condensable gas that can live in a liquid and a vapor and they use that to be able to carry the heat away. They send it inside as a liquid and it evaporates with a fan on it. The vapor Freon picks up the heat that's in the wine cellar, carries it back outside. It goes into the condenser right there that has a fan like a radiator on it and it removes the heat that was inside the cellar and it just kind of gulps the heat out of the cellar until it eventually reaches temperature and then turns off. And then it waits three degrees and it turns back on again. The reason we do three degrees is because when you have three degree air, you have one degree bottle temp all the time, 24 seven, it never changes. Now, if you do the pipe with a probe in the bottle, your bottle temperature actually has to change degrees one degree before it will turn on. Now, this prevents that from ever happening. You keep one degree all the time. So that's the best application as far as we know. I always will prefer the using this type of a system just because you're going to get the longevity of a commercial system. When you're dealing with breeze air and so forth, you're going to get about five years before you're replacing it. There's no way you can repair it. When it does go down, you're at the mercy of breeze air as far as getting a new one or parts and so forth. If you go down with us, we have servicemen in the field every day. And if you have a problem, we're out here within 24, 48 hours and usually we'll have you back on within three days at the very, very most. Usually same day we'll have you back on. We have all the parts on our truck usually, so we can get you back on very, very quickly. Hopefully that kind of brings you up to speed on Refrigeration 101. This was done while it was just sticks. So we just hide everything in the structure itself. Now, if the house is done, now that's a whole nother story. If cellar's in the middle of the house, then the drywall ceilings have to be opened up all the way to an exterior wall. We can make a penetration and getting condensing either on the ground or up above whatever they want to do. If you have your cellar near an exterior wall, it's always a major bonus. For down here, it's not too bad, probably twice a year. If they're in a rural area where there's a lot of on the ground with leaf blowers and gardeners and so forth, four times a year I would recommend. This one here stays clean because it's, it's up high and out of the way. We chose a third horsepower for this wine cellar. We could have used a quarter, but I like to go a little heavy to make sure it's gonna have some longevity to it. It also has afternoon sun on this side of the wall, so we wanted a little extra power to pick up that sun hitting that wall there. And also the glass, of course, you know, this is a non-insulated glass here, and at 55 degrees it may sweat. At that point you have to do is just increase your temperature until you stop sweating, and until that type of phenomenon goes away, it's usually a summer event when it's hot and humid beautiful glass doors. I have the same in my house. I enjoy the, the beautiful ice cube looking wine cellar that everyone seems to be enjoying. And also the label forward the display is so nice because you don't have to pull your bottles out to see them. We have up here inside this concealed space. It's a commercial unit so it's not real beautiful but it is the hardest working and the best in the industry that I can buy. So if you notice, it's louvered with uh, 3 8 gaps between each piece of wood, allowing it to breathe properly. And up inside there, there's a pump also that catches the water and pumps it to an outdoor location. 
So you can kind of hear how loud it is, not too bad. You have to remember that any type of mechanical system is going to have a little noise, it's moving air. You're going to have to have the sound of a fan inside your wine cellar. That's just something you're going to have to live with.